everybody, it's Brock, and we got a brand new episode of All About. Hope everyone had a happy new year. We got something special today. You ever wanted to take care of a shark? Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most common sharks seen in the saltwater hobby. This is the banded bamboo cat shark. Now, these are bottom-dwelling sharks, so you're not going to see these constantly swimming around like a great white chasing a predator. They typically hang down at the sand bed will swim short distances to and fro, and during feeding is when you'll really start to see them get active. You'll see them start making circles around the tank because they know that food's coming. These sharks can be bought when they are still an egg around $80, which is a really cool experience to see because as they start to get older in that egg, you start to see them poke out, you can see them wiggling around, and then eventually they will try to get out of there. Or you could get one that's already hatched, swimming around and eating, for a couple hundred dollars for about a medium size one and then if you want to go even higher get a large size one you're just going to be spending more money to get the bigger one the tank size by adulthood has to be huge usually they get donated to the local aquariums just because of the amount of room they need fresh out of the egg they're usually about three to four inches long so a 55 gallon will last for the first year give them plenty of room to swim around but you're gonna have to upgrade as they do get larger. Think about those angels that get over a foot long requiring a 300 gallon tank, except this shark will end up getting over three feet long, so it's gotta be huge. They are definitely an expert care level when it comes to these, especially the ones that are newly hatched. It feels like taking care of a newborn baby. The one I used to have would only come out and eat at 2 a.m. every night, so I had an alarm set up to get up, put a small piece of shrimp on a little skewer put it down in there and chase him around and he would eat that stuff up once he was done eating he'd go back to his little cave and hang out till the morning time they're also going to require pristine water quality with great filtration because any kind of spikes in the water any jump of the levels will definitely hurt them first they are an aggressive fish to take care of most of their day is relaxing on the sand bed but once they get into feeding mode, they will eat anything and everything that's in their way. I'd have to say reef compatibility is with caution that you keep the sharks in there. Now, they're not going to harm your corals. They're not going to go and eat them. The worst they might do is bump them while swimming or lay on them. However, the inverts are a meal to them. So any cleaner shrimp you have, hermits, crabs, all those kind of great cleanup crews that you would have in a reef, those are all just going to be great moving snacks for them. Water parameters are straightforward. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Make sure you're going to acclimate them very slowly. At least double what you would normally do for a fish, just because you don't want things to spike too quick on them, getting used to the tank. You also don't want to do any copper-based medication as it will severely harm the shark, so make sure you're not putting anything like that in the tank. Max size, like I said, they can eventually get up to three feet long. Now, of course, that's going to take some time, though. Usually growing about six inches every year. So you can kind of gauge how big of a tank you need by how large they're getting over the year. These sharks usually have brown and black stripes, especially right when they come out. It's very dominant with the white stripes, just like a zebra. As they do reach adulthood, these dominant stripes eventually do fade into a single color. The diet is one of the hardest parts about taking care of these sharks. At the beginning, you will want to have a variety of food on hand to help figure out what the shark is enticed by. Usually, we have a live feeder shrimp. They always tend to love those because they're bouncing around the tank, running away from them. That way they can chase them. Gives them something they're used to eating in the wild. While also, at the same time that you feed those, we feed them, we try to train them on things like raw shrimp and squid being fed from a skewer. It's a very fun task, but definitely be careful because these sharks have a painful bite and can become very aggressive when feeding, so pay attention. They should not be housed with smaller fish and inverts as they will see those as food, kind of like a lionfish where anything they can fit in their mouth should be considered a target. Larger fish like tangs, angels, groupers are great companions in the tank with a shark. If you have any questions about the compatibility and what you already have in your tank, just leave it down in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. Your tank setup is also another important thing with the sharks. They're going to need a very soft sand. You want a lot of open sand bed in your tank for the shark to roam. They need a very soft sand bed. 
you do not want things like crushed coral because that can cut and scratch their skin up underneath. So make sure you have a very soft, soft sand bed. Tons of open room for them to roam. My favorite structure to do with these shark tanks is usually like two big mountains in the middle with a connecting rock overhead that gives a nice deep shadow in the tank for them to hide under and relax. Because most of the time, they're going to be up under a rock where they can have shade and hang out there, and then they'll swim to and fro out of it. That's all I got today for the cat shark. Hope this gave you a pretty good idea on if you can take care of one or if you need to change some things around to take care of one. Please leave any questions or experiences you've had with them down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see y'all later.